So this is the Joby Electric Air Taxi. But they have created an air taxi. And guess what? It's already flying, well, test flying anyway. They're doing waiting on certifications. And let's see. So it's electric. Uh, this does have a pilot. I don't think this is an autonomous, but I will ask her about that. But it does have a into a pilot, looks like it has four passenger seats for four passengers. And so right now it's a V-tail and there are four propellers. He's talking about how it gets charged. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six rotors. So this again, this is a Joby electric air taxi. As you can see here, the cockpit is actually very uh, roomy and it will have one pilot and will have the autonomous. The aircraft actually was flown in New York on Sunday, November 12th, and it went from the heliport downtown uh, Manhattan. And they actually announced that the heliport had become electrified. So which means they could be able to charge uh, helicopters there. I think now, right now, I believe, is the one that uses, that uses it. And they have flights out to Manhattan. Uh, well, of course, in Manhattan. They have flights to New Jersey, which is New York, and have the Hamptons. And they also have flights out to uh, JFK. But that's more, that's more of a brief. Let's see if there's any more fun facts I can tell you. It says, uh, they've actually announced a partnership with Delta and they expect uh, New York to be one of its early launch markets after receiving certification from the FAA. So, which tells me that they're thinking of flying uh, uh, from, from <coughs> Manhattan to JFK using the Blade helicopter. So, this is actually be uh, similar without a blade but helicopter using the electric air taxi. So this would be similar to the route uh, that a JFK flies, um, blade flies. They say Joby's aircraft is optimized for rapid back-to-back -back flights and can fly up to 100 miles on a single charge, covering 99% of all trips taken today across uh, New York City fire bars. While traveling from Manhattan to JFK can take more than an hour by car, Joby expects a trip to take just seven minutes by air. Uh, let's see what we're looking at. I think that's about what I have. Our US based company. And they're expecting a certification next year. One thing to note too is that they're actually be, going to be operating as their own airline if I understood uh, what they were telling me correctly. So they'll basically do everything that they'll have the airline code and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I guess if they're going to work with Delta, they'll just be a Delta, probably a Delta connection partner is my guess of how uh, that's, that part of it is going to work. So in, in terms of them, of how they are getting things together, they started in 2009 and 
so they've been testing for quite a while. They did a full-scale demonstration in 2017, and they did a pre-production prototype in 2019, and that pre-production looks pretty much like what you're looking at here. Uh, let's go further down. They're actually working with Toyota, uh, because Toyota has, they know how to make cars, and you're going to have to make a lot of these things. So Toyota will help them with the logistics. Um, in 2020, they got US Air Force approval, the first EPTEL company to receive the airworthiness approval from the US Air Force that was December 2020. And um, they have a, in, 20, in 2020, they also did a partnership with, with Uber. Um, I think they're gonna use the Uber app in order for you to book is uh, typically what, what they're thinking. Uh, they are trying to get certification, that's the next thing. So they've just been flying the, the prototype around. In order for them to do what they're doing, they need to get what's called a Part 135 year certificate, and they got that in 2022. Uh, they've also done some work with NASA, and they did their Delta partnership in 2022. Uh, production launch. We launched production of our pilot production plant in Marina, California, with the first aircraft rolling off the line in June to begin flight testing. They also scaling their production. So it's going to be interesting to see how they do over the next few months once they get their certification and they start doing test flights. And we'll see if they show up in the look at the markets that they're going to be, uh, they're going to be showing. Uh, I actually was impressed by the design and uh, the EV, EV2 and market is really picking up. Their uh, current competitor is Lillian, although the Lillian is having some issues, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. So watch out for it as it comes 2025 and we'll hear about the certifications and all the partnership is doing with Delta. It's kind of interesting to see. I hope you like it. I would love to see a demo. I'm going to see that. Let me just see. This rotor here actually turns. Uh, so they have been keeping 